So things are beginning to warm up around here and that means that it is time for spring cleaning. So I'm just cleaning out the water vessel that I keep on the counter. This is the one that I use for adding cold water to the dishwater or for um, washing my hands with, what have you. So the water that goes in here does not get filtered at all. It doesn't get run through the Berkey. It's just straight out of the well. And this, can you see that? Can you see all the brown in there? That's what came out of here as I was cleaning this out. So that just shows me I definitely don't want to be drinking the water straight out of the local well because that water is not treated. So thank goodness I have the Berkey, which is right there. But now that things are warming up, the roofer dropped off materials this weekend and the roofer will be starting to rip off the existing roof and replace that here in about a month's time. There's a lot of things I don't show in the cabin because I'm just basically storing things throughout the cabin and that is wearing on me, to be honest with you. I just, I'm really looking forward to getting all of those things put away and everything organized in the cabin. this cleaning I sure could go for takeout. I wonder if there's any place that delivers. Sure wish I knew where that food was. It'd be nice if it showed up. Man I've been driving forever. I cannot find this person's location. Oh, maybe that's them now. Hello? Yes hi. This is your driver for Dork's VCR repair wedding planning service and food delivery. Yeah I, I I need some better directions to your place. I, I seem to be unable to find it. I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, I'm not able to find your location. Can you give me some better directions? Yeah, I can give you directions. So what you want to do is you want to go... Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm there? No. Swim. What? Huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'll see you soon. All right. I'll see you soon. No Thanks. way am I going there. God. Oh, good. I'm starving. What? I give up. I give up. I need to find a new job.
Be sure to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications. Hmm. Well, I got a duck thawed. I guess I'll just go ahead and make it. Today I'm going to show you how I make one of my favorite recipes, which is an apricot glazed duck. And I'm just using some really simple ingredients that you might already have in your pantry. And if not, all of these things can be easily obtained at any grocery store. These are just some leeks that I have frozen. And here I have some dehydrated celery. You could use celery powder. I just happen to have this on hand instead. Be sure to check out the description down below for the full recipe. You'll want to pierce the skin of your duck, being careful not to pierce the meat so you don't dry out the meat, but this will help render the fat that is in the skin. You'll want that fat later on. And then just place it in a Dutch oven and we're gonna set that aside while we make our sauce. For this recipe, you're gonna need half a jar of chili sauce, about half a teaspoon of Worcestershire, a tablespoon of horseradish, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, some crushed black pepper, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Mix all of that up. I'm using a small bowl. If you weren't using a small bowl, you could mix this up after you add in your apricot preserves. Comment down below if you've ever had duck and your favorite way to prepare it. And then add your celery powder and stir that in. Let's go ahead and set the sauce to the side. Taking the frozen leeks and placing those around the duck. This will help to flavor the duck. I don't recommend using onions as a substitute. You could if you used a sweet onion, like maybe a Dahlia onion, but the leeks are not as pungent or as bitter as an onion is. And they'll just help to flavor the sauce. We're gonna dump that sauce right over and generously spread that upon the duck. And then we'll go ahead and cover that. And we'll wanna make sure that our oven is nice and hot. In my case, I'm using my wood stove. So I'm just gonna place that on top and let it simmer away. The duck will take a few hours to cook. So every few minutes you wanna baste it and keep that meat nice and juicy. And then to make sure that it cooks all the way through and evenly, I'm going to go ahead and just take off the original lid and put some hot coals upon that lid. If you're using a traditional oven, you wouldn't need to do this because your oven will regulate the temperature better, but this will just help make sure that it cooks evenly from top to bottom. That duck smells absolutely amazing. I am so hungry and I'm like drooling because it smells so good. But the duck does need to cook for a couple of hours. Cooking it this way on the stovetop, I can't really regulate the temperature too much, but I will tell you that my stovetop is around 400 degrees right now. And so that duck will just need to cook for about two, two and a half hours tops to be completely finished. And as you saw, I just switched out the lid and put a different lid on there and, and then covered it with some hot coals. That'll allow all of that sauce to caramelize on top of the duck and finish it off essentially. In the meantime, I do have some candy that I can go ahead and eat. And I have a word of caution regarding candy for those of you who are thinking about living this type of a lifestyle where you're going to the store infrequently, right? And you need to make sure that you have sweets around. I recommend buying sweets that you don't necessarily like. You like them, but they're not your favorites is what I'm getting at. And the reason I say that is these are hard caramels and I don't prefer hard candy. Um, and so if I buy hard candy, I'm more likely to have sweets in the cabin when I want them. If I were to buy soft chew caramels, I would eat that entire bag in one sitting. It is guaranteed to be the case. Guilty as charged when it comes to being a glutton for caramel. Anyhow, I'm gonna get back to cleaning and then I'll check in with you guys here in just a little bit. I recently had a couple subscribers, Lone Moose and Charles Quick to be more specific, request to see my holsters. So I'm just gonna give a quick overview of those.
And now, about two and a half hours later, we have a golden, crispy duck. Look at how rich and juicy that duck looks. And it's so tender, like fall off the bone tender. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Look at that skin and that meat is so tender and juicy oh yeah that is good if you've not had duck and you don't know where to start because it can be a little intimidating this is a good place to start. Duck is very rich. It's a red meat. It's not a white meat like a chicken. And you cannot go wrong with this recipe. So if you've not had duck, I highly recommend that you start here. It's a foolproof method for your first time co cooking a duck. And you won't be disappointed. Anyhow, I'm off to eat dinner. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be sure to check out these bloopers. I feel like I'm getting ready for a sting operation <laughs> as I pull my wire through my clothes to hide the wire tap. All right, we ready to pull this bust. <laughs> Today a narc. <laughs> Oops. This duck is tender and juicy and hot. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Oh, told you I was hungry. <laughs>